what's up guys? See boys. Finally 2K7 and we are back for a brand new Grand Theft Auto 5 real life mod video. Today we're going to be doing some towing with our tow company Ace Towing. We have heavy number two out, our heavy Kenworth Wrecker. And today we got to go pick up a mobile crane that broke down on the freeway guys. So let's go ahead and check that out. I do have my partner James with me as well, one of my workers. So he's going to ride out and help me out with all of the rigging so let's go ahead and get started guys hope you guys are having a great day and i hope you guys enjoyed your weekend it is monday so you guys know it is time for us to get back to work and you guys have been leaving so many comments asking to do some more towing videos so that is what we're going to be doing today so the mobile crane broke down in the northbound lanes about a mile and a half from us uh, California Highway Patrol are already on scene. They have like the lane blocked down. I think he's actually stuck in a lane of traffic right now. So we're gonna have to be extremely difficult working um, in a lane of traffic and we just gotta get in and take care of business. You guys already know. So we brought James with us. Like I said, he's gonna help out with the rigging now. With these mobile cranes, it's not gonna be a typical lift like it's not gonna be like we just lift it up and go we're kind of gonna have to just drag it drag it back to the construction site so it's gonna be a little bit different from what we're used to doing but nothing that we can't handle and our Kenworth wrecker is definitely capable for this job so we should be arriving on scene in a couple more seconds here guys see anything yet up oh, I see it there it goes Man, that thing looks really big guys let's see how many axles does it have one two three four five six seven eight axles wow all right, so that's what we're gonna have to tow. We're gonna spin around and go grab it. All right, so we're just gonna get off the freeway here. We'll spin around and jump right back on. Let's try to catch this light. Okay, so it looks like CHP put down a couple cones for us to work in. And we're gonna have to get all the way over to that left lane. All right, so we are on scene. We'll go ahead and throw our lights on. I actually should have waited because I should have known that was gonna happen. Let's throw our lights on and let's back up. All right, so let's take a look at what's going on here. This car gonna be able to get out of here. There you go. Alright, so let's take a look at what's going on and let's figure out our plan to tow this thing. How you doing, sir? So I just cut off and it won't start. Okay, so we'll try to at least get you off the highway now. Where do you want us to take this thing? Because this is too big for like any mechanic shop really take to the construction yard okay no problem we could do that for you all right so let's just take a look at what we're working with here guys so we have an eight axle mobile crane and this is gonna probably be one of our heaviest toes here but like I said we're not gonna actually like lift it off the ground or anything we're really just dragging it so 
Um, I'm going to let James get started with all of the rigging. Um, let me get the, the um, bar down here. So we'll start with this. We'll drop that down. Alright, so we got the underreach down. Uh, what we're going to just pretty much do is chain this straight to the front of the truck. And that's pretty much what we're going to do. We're not lifting or anything. We're just straight chaining it up and pulling. So it's going to be a little bit more complicated than what we normally do and what we normally tow. But like I said, we are the heavy duty experts and we are we have this under control. So let's get all this work done and then we'll get this thing off the road. All right, so we have most of our rigging down. I'm just going to try to back up a little bit more and connect. And then we'll try to get this off the highway here. Okay, guys, so we have it. We're going to have to put a little bit more down. A little bit more chains. Holy crap, come on, traffic. Just crashed right into everything. It was just not safe working on a highway like this. So let's finish rigging this thing up and then we'll be good to go. And it looks like we are good, so I'm gonna let um, James finish up with that stuff. Let's grab the wireless light bar and we'll go ahead and put that on to the back of this crane being extremely careful here all right nope we're not even gonna do it we're gonna pass on the other side it's not even worth it all right so we're gonna put the wireless light bar we'll just hang it right here this thing is really big but that'll just let traffic know if we're going to the left or we're going to the right if we're breaking, they'll see. Now, I'm assuming this thing is under 13.6 feet, so I think we're going to be able to fit under all of the uh, overpasses. But um, yeah, this thing is pretty high. But I think I think we're good though. We, we need like a semi truck to come by so we could compare the height. But I think yeah, we're just a little bit taller than a box trucks. I think we'll be fine. So let's let the officer know that we have everything hooked up and we are ready to go. Well, sir, I uh, got the crane hooked up. He's going to be towing it to Los Santos, so we're going to get it off the freeway for you. Yeah, we, we should be fine. Oh, yeah, sure. I definitely would appreciate the escort if you want to follow me. Yeah, I'll definitely appreciate that. Thank you. All right, awesome. All right, so the officer is gonna help us out, or the trooper, he's gonna follow us off the highway just to make sure we get off safely. And um, yeah, we're pretty much good to go. Um, one thing I didn't think about though, we can only fit two people in the truck. And yeah, I guess um, I gotta call one of our other trucks to pull up and give, a, give James a ride or something like that, so. Yeah, didn't think about that, but it's all good. All right, guys, so we got one of our roadside assistant trucks to pull up. They're just going to um, pretty much give James a ride back. And they're going to pretty much help us escort this thing as well because this is a pretty heavy load. So they're going to hold off the rear. Uh, CHP is going to hold up the front. And then I'm going to be driving the uh, Kenworth Wrecker. So let's go ahead and get out of here. Alright, so CHP, whoa, CHP is going to escort us. Oh, that thing is heavy. Alright, we got this, we got this. Oh, let me know in the comment section down below, did you guys think our record was going to be able to handle this load? We got it though.
Alright, so we're gonna have to probably take exit 1C here. That way we could spin around and head back towards the city. This looks pretty good though guys, we got CHP escorting us, we have the Heavy Wrecker, Heavy 2, all in this mobile crane, and then we have our utility truck or our roadside assistant truck in the rear, just keeping traffic off of us. Okay, so this is going to put us on our way towards the city. One thing with GTA is like, <laughs> this, the gears are so like off. <laughs> it just sounds like we're just killing the engine right now. Oh, we're going uphill, guys. I wonder why we're struggling a little bit. Yeah, so like I was saying, I was wondering how much this crane weighs, so if any of you guys know, let me know down below in the comment section. I was trying to Google it, but I didn't really come up with an exact answer. Kind of funny how they have us chilling in the left lane right now. Alright, we have about one mile to go to our destination, and we'll be there. Alright guys, so my game crashed, so I had to restart, but we are finally arriving in the city. 
And this is where we're going to be dropping off this mobile crane. So we're just going to leave it here until they figure out what they want to do with it. Kind of losing traction a little bit here, but that's okay. So we're going to go ahead and get this thing uh, unchained and unhooked. But hopefully you guys did enjoy today's episode. If you did, let me know down below by leaving a comment. Also, make sure you guys hit the like button as well. If you're new, please subscribe. Join us on YouTube. We're also on Facebook, Instagram, TikTok, Twitter. All at Ace 2 k 7 And everything is linked down below in the video description. And also, don't forget, guys, check out my website, acepilot2k7.com. You'll find my merchandise, so t-shirts, hoodies, bags, cups, mugs, and more. You'll also find my tutorials, you'll find my mod list, and you'll find a lot of other cool and behind-the-scenes content as well. So anyway, guys, thank you so much for watching. really do hope you guys enjoyed, and I will see you guys in the next one. Peace!